ghost and the ghouls disturb you. Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, just before we get into it, if you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on that would be highly appreciated, thank you so much, but with that being said let's get straight into the video. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is just get both your clips in of course, fade out the first clip that's going to go before the transition and obviously add your effects once you've done that. Then you want to go ahead and get your second clip and here's where we're going to be doing all the actual editing. So you want to choose three different things that you want to go ahead and mask out. One thing that can work with most clips is just uh, masking out the character itself. Then I'm going to go around the builds or the rocks uh, right here and then I'm going to go around the builds right here. So just choose three things that you can easily mask out that won't be too difficult for you. And yeah, basically go ahead and do that. So once you've decided the three things you want to go ahead and mask out, what I recommend doing is insert remove envelope, adding a freeze frame at cursor. And then depending on how you want to sync your montage, you basically would have the song and the marker right here. Obviously, I don't have that because I'm doing a tutorial, not a whole highlight. But yeah, you basically want to move a certain amount of frames. You can kind of mess around until you get the right value or just sync it properly. It's up to you. And basically find where you want to uh, stop the transition. So a decent value that I recommend is around 30 to 40 is decent. I'm just going to go for 30 right now. Click the clip and then you can just go back here, reset all. And as you can see, your clip is going to be playing just like normal. So it'll go back into that free flowing format. So what you want to go ahead and firstly do is now mask out one thing. I recommend doing the easier thing first. So for me, it's just going to be going around these rocks here. Again, you can just choose whatever you want. If it's around some builds, whatever, just do something that's quite easy. And all you have to go ahead and do is choose the pen tool. Make sure you have the mask box selected and then what you do is basically just go around this area and i'll meet you guys once i've gone ahead and done the full thing all right guys so as you can see i've now masked it out make sure you want to join these parts together so if it goes across the bottom you want to go to the side down to the bottom draw a line across and just make sure all the points join up if it's at the top you do the exact same thing just the other way around now as you can see this is not the best job up I did it in about two seconds honestly but if you don't have a good job and you really just can't be bothered to do it again don't worry go to the feather type choose out or in depending on how badly it looks uh, make sure you select the keyframe select out and then put it to like 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 that will just make the edges a bit smoother not as you no know, sharp as what i've done there because i just didn't do that good of a job once you're going ahead and mask that out you then want to go ahead and insert a new video track then you want to go ahead and move this up one layer and add the newspaper image this is going to be my discord if you want it you can use whatever you want just find an image and if you want to put that behind it looks good you can use paper newspaper whatever you want then you want to select this to best and full and then save the image using the snapshot hit save and then you want to go ahead and just drag this in anywhere don't worry about that for now and then you want to go ahead and mask out this so you want to choose the mask option do the pen and do what you did before and then basically just make some sort of jagged edges around the area it doesn't have to be accurate the more jagged well not too jagged but don't need to make it um like exactly around the edges it just adds that nice sort of paper effect as you can see i've just done a really rough job there do whatever you like for that and then you can go ahead and click off then you want to copy and then go to the paper here and then selectively paste event attributes and choose the event pan crop options and as you can see that is going to have the paper there obviously this is a bit messed up but just do it in your own time and make it look good please yeah that's basically it all right so once you've gone ahead and done that we're now going to do the actual movement itself so firstly you want to go onto the top clip you want to go to the position and then you want to use your arrow keys to move it up and down now if you want to move it down you're going to move your arrow keys up so just keep moving this up until it's off the screen but you want to do it a little bit more so it's moving smoothly and it's not just suddenly moving it so yeah, you want to put it to around there and make sure you know what the uh sort of digits are here because we're going to be using it on the next clip then you want to go all the way to the end and then right click and restore and that's going to make sure that this comes up over the clip over time and then as you can see when it goes back into clip it's perfectly in place now you want to go to the position and just make sure this is on smooth and if you want to make this even smoother and turn a bit more time you can individually set keyframes so say like here and then make this smooth as well and then that'll make it a little bit more smooth if you mess around with the area but you don't have to worry about that too much unless you're really nitpicky with it so you can go ahead and choose that then you want to copy what your y center is here and then you want to copy that and then go ahead onto the newspaper one go to the position again then go to the y center paste that in right there and that's going to bring it to the exact same area i'm going to go back over here restore that go back to the start and make this smooth and as you can see these are both going to correspondingly move together if i can speak 
and they will both work. Now basically what we want to go ahead and do from here is do the exact same things with the other objects. So for example, I want to do the skin. You're just going to insert a new video track. Then you can go ahead and control and drag up. You want to go to the uh, mask. You want to go ahead and reset that. The position also reset that and basically just delete all of these sort of pan crop things that you've got right here so it's back to normal and then you just want to mask out the skin and complete that whole process over again if you've forgotten don't worry just watch over what i've done but you just basically did the same thing it's really easy it takes about maybe 30 seconds to a minute for each different mask uh, mask that object and that's basically how you do your transition Yo guys, two really quick things I've got to mention in the tutorial when recording it is one, you can use a background video. So if you have like a music video for the song you're using, you can put that in the background like I've done here and then fade that in or you can just keep it as a black fade like I showed in the tutorial. And also once you get to this point where you want it to all get back to normal and all the mask is gone, make sure to add a beat impact shake. I know a lot of you guys already have that, so no need to provide a free um, preset there. But if you do want one, I've got like some free editing packs that have them so go check them out but yeah sorry i forgot to mention that in the video so guys that's basically the whole video there i really hope you did enjoy and this did help you out if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on it's highly appreciated at 3000 supporters i'm doing a free edit pack so make sure you're using code tower in the item shop it literally takes like a few seconds to just smash it in the item shop so thank you guys so much for that and finally if you want more effects transitions stuff like that then make sure to go ahead and check out my editing pack it's got loads more stuff just like this i really do appreciate you guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video boys peace